Hey everybody, it's Jorik. Welcome back. I hope you're doing great wherever you are in the world. Today, I wanted to spend some time and just show you some of the tax changes that are happening in Portugal. Of course, many of you are aware of what has happened with the NHR. Technically, it's no longer available. So, it's good to know if you're going to be moving here, what the tax rates are here in Portugal, and then also have to have an understanding of what's going on in your home country before you make the move. So first things first, here you can see what the taxes are. It's a progressive tax here in Portugal up to 48%. So you can see here based upon where a salary would be, what the applicable tax rate would look like. There are several of these areas where the taxes have gone down by a few percent for 2024. So that's a good thing. So the first thing you see what taxes are going to look like this year. Now, the next thing is I'm putting up on the screen a couple of shots here of the countries that currently have a tax agreement. So a reciprocal tax agreement with Portugal. And if you are coming from one of these countries, you need to know how things will be taxed when you move here. In Portugal's view, your home country's view and what won't get taxed, because that will help uh, make a determination, at least from a financial standpoint, if Portugal makes sense for you or if it does not. It is important, I think it's super important, to speak to an accountant, whether it be a big company like PwC or Deloitte or your local accountant, probably you'd want to reach out to someone and type in maybe expat accountant or accountant in Portugal or someone in, wherever you're living in your home country that has a good grasp of your home country's taxes, but might have some insight on how things are taxed here in Portugal. And in your specific situation, whether you're in the workforce and what things will look like, or if you are retired, you're a pensioner and you're looking to move here, you, that is something that is the big question mark as 2023 was ending that became a point of consternation as the government made changes to the NHR program and basically was removing it starting 2024. People were probably not spending as much time looking into the tax details of Portugal and their home country because they figured that they had this kind of tax status for up to 10 years. Well, since that's gonna be gone now, it is important to make sure that you're looking at this stuff. So I just wanted to put this video out there so that you have it. And as you're starting the new year and your um, your New Year's resolution is Portugal's my country in 2024, or if you're considering Portugal along with some other countries, it's good to know what the taxes are, if your country has a tax agreement, and then also if your country does not have a tax agreement with Portugal, I don't know if I'd want to move just because you're going to be subject to Portuguese taxes, but then you're also going to be subject, you, you are going to be subject to dual taxes in that situation. So as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch the video and enjoy your travels.